Two WA Liberal MPs have been hit with claims they had secret meetings with an extreme right-wing figure in Perth last year. Nine's political reporter Jonathan Kersley has been travelling with the PM in Perth. Jonathan, Neil Erickson has made some explosive claims. He has, Michael. Neil Erickson is a convicted criminal who holds extreme right-wing views. And in a video circulated online, he claimed to have met with two West Australian Liberal MPs, Andrew Hasty and Ian Goodenough, at a rally here in Perth last year. That rally was an event supporting white South African farmers. Mr Goodenough confirmed today he had a brief encounter with Mr Erickson, but did not know on the day who he was. He went further, telling Guardian Australia both Mr Goodenough and Mr Hasty had been approached by Neil Erickson. Uh, the Canning MP, Andrew Hasty, was asked about this issue earlier today. Here's that exchange. Have you ever met Neil Erickson? Look, I don't answer defamatory questions and I won't get involved in that. Yes or no, though? Is that no, no, I'm, I won't answer defamatory questions. Well, what's defamatory about just saying yes Thank or no? you. Now, after those comments from Andrew Hasty, Ian Goodenough made his, and that prompted Andrew Hasty to release a statement late this afternoon. It reads, I have never sought to or agreed to meet with Mr Erickson. I'm confident I did not encounter him on the day. I find his views abhorrent and his views should not be given a platform. But it's clear these two West Australian Liberal MPs have differing views on what took place on that day, Michael, and less than three weeks out from the federal election day, this is not the headache the Liberal Party needed. Certainly not. Jonathan, thank you. Well, here we go. I'm going to give you a little bit of a scoop. Scott Morrison, I used to work for you, buddy. You dare claim that Fraser Ranning is an extremist because he associates with people like me or Ricky T. You paid me to confront Sam Dastiari. Maybe not you, but your underlings, Andrew Hasty, and what's his name? Ian Goodenough. Ian yeah. Goodenough. Ian Goodenough. I had a secret meeting with you two in Perth about taking over the anti-Islam activist scene on Facebook. You paid me through a third party to fly across the country to generate views, content, and then push the vote for you in the Victorian state election. What about the secret meeting in Queensland? Why don't you tell the people, instead of standing there acting like a hypocrite, that Fraser Anning is some sort of far-right extremist, Pauline Hanson's a far-right extremist, you paid me to be a far-right extremist, to get people to vote for you. You stuck out, bro. You cut that hard. And we're going to take down the Liberal Party. We're going to tear it down. Splinter by splinter by splinter and build it back up like iron. And we're going to appoint God Emperor Blair Cottrell to be ahead of that. Is that why you supported the Liberal Party in the state election? So you remember, Tim, for about six months there, I supported the Liberal Party very hard. It goes along with the, the time frame of me travelling interstate. Do you remember? I was travelling interstate. Who paid for my tickets? What company paid for my tickets? Think about that before you cuck out, bro. Before you cuck out and drag down your opponents. This is all about votes. Me being banned on Facebook is about votes. Okay? It has nothing to do with extremism. You're worried that the minor parties are going to take votes away from you. That's why you preference One Nation Last. If you really cared about what you, what you were doing, you would have preferenced Fraser Running's new party, Conservative Nationals, last. But you're going to put him above One Nation. Because it's not about extremism, it's about votes. You're scared shitless that the people are starting to leave the Liberal Party and vote for minor parties. 30% of Liberals are cucks. They go around talking like they're pro-multiculturalism. When you know there's a divide in your party, you've got Labor lights in your party. Your party's gone. You have no right-wingers in your party. You're not appealing to the masses. Why would you try and virtue signal to people who won't vote for you. They won't vote for you. You're losing votes as the days go by. It shows me that not you as a leader is doing this. It's a collective of lefties infiltrating the Liberal Party. You're done. You're cooked. Okay? And I'm not a big fan of One Nation. I'm a big fan of uh, Fraser Running. But if One Nation can take you down and take your votes, go for it. 
because the Liberal Party are a bunch of like, yeah, uh, they're probably the lesser of the Labor. They're, there's left, there's maximum left, and then there's the Greens. They're all the same. Stop voting the major parties. Vote One Nation or Fraser Anning's party, Conservative Nationals.